let's understand the direct pressurized system with the help of an example. In this problem, we have to design a water pressure booster system for a 94 feet tall apartment building. So the uh, building type is the apartment. Nine story high, having two apartments per floor. For one floor, we have uh, two apartments. Each apartment is serving one bathroom. In the bathroom, we have one flush, a flush tank WC, one shower, one wash basin, and a kitchen sink. The most remote fixture available is water closet. That means the farthest fixture from the booster set that is the water closet. And minimum available city water pressure is 40 psi, the water which we are taking from the municipality. That is 40 psi. So the what are the parameters given? Total building height is 94 feet, which will be required while doing the calculations. Two apartments per floor and one bathroom group and one kitchen sink per apartment. What is our goal? Our goal, uh, our goal is to design the flow and the pressure requirement of the water booster system design. We'll understand this complete process step by step. So the step one to design the booster water system is to draw a schematic as per the question that the question that we have given is the building height is 94 feet, two apartments per floor, nine floor building, and one bathroom room and one kitchen sink per apartment. As you can see, in this schematic, we have a pressure booster set. This is the water supply coming from the municipality. And here it is divided into two risers because we already know that for each floor, there are two apartments. So this riser one, riser two are for those both apartments. And each apartment, if you see, is having one kitchen sink and one bathroom group. Inside the bathroom group, we have a wash basin, shower, and WC. So based on the question, the very first step is to draw the rough schematic. And in the, from the schematic also, you can see the most remote fixture, that is the farthest fixture available, is the WC from this booster set. So this is the first step. Second step, is to calculate the booster set flow rate, how much water flow rate is required from this booster set. How do we calculate that? First, the first step is in the second step to calculate the total fixture count. As we already know, there are nine floors. Each floor is having two apartments. One apartment is having one bathroom group and one kitchen sink. Total number of bathroom group will be nine into two, 18, 18 numbers of bathroom group and 18 numbers of kitchen sink for the complete building. Now we have to calculate the total WSFU, that is the water supply fixture unit. So we, we should know what is the value of WSFU for the bathroom group and for kitchen sink. Where we'll get this value? For this, we'll be referencing the ASPE standard, American Society of Plumbing Engineers. Here you can see for bathroom group, this is the table in this fixture per group, occupancy, type of supply, and this is the WSFU value. In the case of bathroom group, for private, the value is six. So same we have taken over here, 18 into six, 108. Similarly, for kitchen sink, private, the WSFU value is 2. So same we have written 18 into 2, that is 36. So for bathroom group, we got 108. For kitchen sink, we get 36 for the complete building. Adding these both, we get 144 WSFU for the complete building. Next step in this one will be to convert the WSFU into GPM using table 103.3. So I'll go to the table. What is the value? 144. 
So we have this table. In this table, if you see, we have 140 and 160. So for 140, I'll take, and for 140, the flow rate is 52.5. So total GPM for 144 WSFU is 52.5 GPM. That means this booster, this booster set flow rate will be 52.5 GPM. So this is the step two that we have done 